afternoon. This is Mike Spells. Travel with Spells. I wanted to document many of the stories of all of my travels around the world. And to date it's 160 countries. But there are so many stories from all over the world. And I just want to inspire people to travel. And these experiences can be yours. I mean, it's just, it's so interesting. Like The, the first one was when I went to China. And it was amazing walking the Great Wall. And I'm seeing all these beautiful faces. The Mongolians, they have these red cheeks. And it, it's just fascinating looking at them. And it's funny that they were more interested in taking pictures of me. And I thought that was uh, pretty peculiar. But if you travel around the world, especially if you're African American, it's definitely, um, you're an oddity, you know, to say the least. So, also I noticed being in Beijing, everything we use is made in China. Everything. From the thermoses, just turn them upside down in Walmart. Anything plastic, it's made in China. So you go to these huge markets that have maybe 10 levels, they're selling all types of clothing. And a lot of people say they're knockoffs, but I remember one time buying some North Face jackets, and they weren't knockoffs. They were $14, $15 each, and they were selling for $300 in America. The same exact thing. You know, so the markup is just huge when they sell it here. But uh, I was just fascinated by that. And there was another situation where I was in on a train going to Transylvania. And uh, Transylvania is actually uh, several states or areas of Romania. And that's where, you know, Dracula was supposedly born and where Dracula died. And it's so romantic, the buildings, they're absolutely gorgeous. But I was on this train traveling to Transylvania from, oh, what's the main city there? Uh, anyway, the capital. I got onto the train and there was a big Russian looking guy getting on the train. He, well, I'd say Russian looking because they all look huge in Eastern Europe, these big guys. And when he got on the train, he looked straight at me and he said, I don't like niggers and I don't like American whites. I said, okay, you just grab a seat. So he, sit, he sat down next to me uh, across the aisle and I noticed he had a carton that said juice on it. And I, I asked him, can I have some? He said, did you just hear what I just said to you? I said, no, I just, I, I like to have some because I knew there was alcohol in it. So I, um, I took it and I drank exactly from where, where he drank from. And he looked at me, it was pretty strange. Let me tell you, after this small conversation, the guy took me to meet all of his friends. He became my friend on Facebook. And he could not believe that this guy who he thought, you know, African-Americans, from seeing us on TV, that we were the worst on the planet. And he said, you're better than my friends. And he said, and I get so much attention because we, we were taking buses. And after the train, we got on buses and people were asking, who am I? And he said, I never get this kind of attention. So this is... This is just one little section of travel that's so amazing to me. If you get out and travel, you realize you won't be as offended by what people say. And I, I don't allow people to take me out of my comfort or this special life that I have. I'm not going to allow a police officer, even though I was an ex, I'm an ex-cop. Be patient and kind. He's a human being. Just so you can get through that process. Don't snap back at him. You just want to get away because you can make your day a horrible one. Um, one an, an, another big story that was so interesting to me was traveling from Accra, Ghana, and I was taking a bus crossing the border into Togo, which is the neighboring country. It's a long country. And when I was, uh, when, when you get out of the, the bus, you have to go through customs so when you or border patrol so when you're going through border patrol i learned in west africa they have this uh, this symbol of and what that means is bribe 
basically give them money for anything and it's usually officials and they'll go like this so when i when i went through the individual a big 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 guy i mean he was so intimidating there was a young lady who was going like this asking me for money and the guy said no 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 so i walked through and then he's he told me you're my friend he said Tell Obama to help us. Tell Obama to help us. And I said, okay, Obama's going to help. I mean, you know, it's difficult for him to help people in our own country. So when I, when I went through the border, it was fine. I didn't have to pay anything. I went to Togo and then I went to Benin. And then Benin is next to Togo. And the next country over is Nigeria. Now, Benin is the birthplace of voodoo, which voodoo is not actually what we think of it as uh, Americans changed voodoo to be evil and it's not it wasn't evil there in Ouija but anyway when I was coming back across the border from Togo into Ghana the same guy was walking towards me this huge I mean he's about six five three hundred and something pounds big big huge black guy he had his arms out and he was walking towards me and so, you know, we had a great conversation. So I was walking towards him and I had my arms out. He came straight and kissed me on the lips. And all of the other guards were looking and I, I was kind of stunned. But the funny thing about travel, you always, there's so many things that happen to you that are very interesting. You, you learn how to just be numb to situations. You know, it's just, in America, people, we're so reactive to what we think is negative, but you're actually in another country. I'm sorry I'm losing my voice because my cowboys lost the other day and I was screaming. But uh, it's, it's, it's very interesting. I asked the other people, I said, does he do this to other people? They said, no. I said, what's going on with him? They said, well, he's married and has kids. I said, mm. And that's just one of, you know, just, just a couple of stories of my travels. And I've, I have many more to go, but I'll see you next time. And travel with spells. Bye.